Hey guys, book a new deal. Wow, it sounded really good. And today I'm here with XSE. And I'm remaking my tutorials on XSE. So hopefully by lesson 10 you'll know enough stuff to make a um, mega script. Yeah. So we're gonna start, go back to the basics with basic messages. You guys probably already know how to do this, but some people may not. So when you start off every script, you start off with a dynamic start offset. Put pound dynamic, and then you put the offset that you want the entire script to be named by. To, but to do this, you'll need a program to find out which offset you're going to use. So, you need F, 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 FSF. That is a program by HackMew, also the creator of Extreme Script Editor. And, yeah. So, have a ROM, open it up. Control ROM. And then click search from the beginning of ROM. Search. See this? Copy it. You're done with that. So now, what we can do is paste it in. Control V, right click paste, whichever one. So that's the beginning of every script. And now, you start off with a static dynamic offset, which you also start off every script with. It's org, pound org, pointer at start. That starts to have every script regardless. Now we get into the actual script. I'm praying this will help you people. So, whenever you want to talk to somebody, you don't want to be able to move. You don't want the person you're talking to move. So, this is easily done with lock. Next command is face player, which automatically makes the person you're talking to face you. Easy enough, right? So, message box. Um, now message box is our new command. This will allow us to talk to us. Next, you do point to load memory. Into, to load into memory. You put the at symbol. Put any word you want. Um, it can't have a space in it. So this can't be it. That can't be it. This can be it. This can be it. I'm going to actually use talk1, and then message type, this is the box that you will use. <clears throat> Most basic one is box at 6, so the parameter will be 0x6. The people might be confused about what parameter means. Parameter is 0x and then a number. It's in hex. So this little calculator, that's what it's for. Make it to decimal, make it the number 6, convert it, it's still 6. But say we do 45 in hex 2d hex can really make a difference next is release we'll get to the and then we'll type in the message later next next is release end these two commands you always end a script with release allows the players to move again and just tells it it's the roadblock you can't move on any for further if we didn't have end it would just keep going on but we need end now we're going to back to the static dynamic offset and you put to make the message whenever you do a pointer it points you to something in the in the script. So whenever you so where you want, where you want the point to be started, you start off with static dynamic offset org at talk1 cuz that's what we put up here. So now when it reads this part, it will automatically go down here. And once that part's done, we'll go back to release. So now we skip a line, go to Tools, no, sorry, Text Adjuster, or Control T for the shortcut, and now type in our message. Hi, I'm Bobby. Cool, huh? So now, you'll see I put two different types. I put a single enter and a double enter. You'll see what that does. Um, so now you click convert, you see that there's slash n slash p. Don't worry, it's supposed to be like that. That shows it that to make spaces. So now that that's done with, you can save it. I'm not going to save it to other purposes, but you should save it to your really ROM. Open up your ROM. You see this little compile button? Open that up, and as you can see, don't these two numbers look very familiar? They're the exact same. Copy it. Open up advanced map. And 
I'll be right back as an advanced map loads. Whoa, wait. You open up your arm. Oops. Stupid. And now I'll be right back as the ROM loads. And I'm back. Is it so magical? So now you go to from header. Put where you want the script to be. I'm just going to put it in my room in Palette Town. Now I've already done this tutorial twice already. So basically pretend this person wasn't there. What you do is you go down to person event. Plus one. And now we'll make a guy there. And we'll make him the same guy. <clears throat> Brendan is his name. And yeah. And then what we do is we leave this little money sign here and paste what we copied from Extreme Script Editor into here. File, save, load your alarm. My boy, load it. File open. Open up your ROM. And open tutorial ROM because that's what I'm using. And I have it. I'll show you a trick with advanced map. Be right back. Just wait. Sorry about that. So now um let me show you a trick. You can save states by going to file. My computer's been doing that. What? And well, Eric definitely does. Um, so you can so you can save it by um, pressing shift and then F1 through 10 and save in different slots. And then you can load it by pressing F1. Now, I have it set to all of the most recent. So the most recent one I set it will automatically load. That's what you saw today. So, so yeah, make sure that's checked off and then just press, press shift See, it said row F state 1, and then I just pressed F1. So, that's a little trick. Now, let's talk to you. Hi, I'm Bobby. Now, the first one we did was just a single space. It will make it so it just goes under. And then, double space makes it go on a whole new um, slide. I guess I'll call it. Probably what I should call it. So, yeah. And now that ends, because that was the end of the script. Face is play. Now it's how it faces the player. No matter how we go. Also, what I'm doing is I'm holding on the space bar, and it speeds it up. So, really, that's all you need to know for scripting. Um, there are other commands you will use in basic scripts, including text color. Text color... We make that one. Just wait one second. Sorry about that. Okay. You will be learning other commands when you even talk. Text color. It's another one. Uh, you'll also be learning these. I'll teach you these in later tutorials. This looks very strange, but these are just ways to write. Make sure when it reads the script, it'll say the player's name, where you put your name in the beginning of the game, and the rival's name. Very simple. And then what's another one you'll learn? Can't think of some. Basic scripting, come on. Yeah, those are probably other commands you use in basic scripting. I'll teach you those next time. But this was my first lesson in my XSE scripting tutorials. And I'm going to actually go in order on what you're supposed to learn and what you should learn. Next will be flags, and I'll make a better tutorial. My dog is biting me right now. It's not good. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'll make, a, I'll make a better flag tutorial than last time's. So let's poke a dude with an XSE scripting tutorial. And I still have a mint to blabber on, but I won't torture you guys. So this is a poke a dude. Thank you, and goodbye. I said goodbye.